Another thing I want to show you is the Apple menu. Now we've accessed many things under the Apple menu, but I just want to go down a few of these. Um, about this Mac will let you know things about maybe what version of the software you have, how fast the processor is, how much RAM we have, and so on. Now if you click, uh, let's see up here, it switches to a few things, serial number, I don't know. Um, you can't do software update, it won't let us. More information, not sure why anyone would want this, but it's more information than you would ever want. Um, storage, uh, let's see. Memory, how much RAM you have, what's installed. Close that, go back to the Apple menu. Um, App Store, we can't use anything in there. System preferences, we, preferences, we've been there. Recent items, you'll see recent items you've used. Um, force quit, if you have a program that's acting goofy, let me see if I can open up one. Um, maybe Notepad, maybe something's gone wacky with that. Uh, let's let that open. Okay then you can force it to quit, which is a lot like the task manager in Windows when you do control, alt, delete. Well, this is uh, option, command, and the escape key. So if you hit the option, command key, hold them down, then press the escape key, you will get the same thing as you do this. You'll get a list of items. Now, I don't recommend you quit programs that aren't behaving badly. Uh, in other words, if you see it, say, if it, it'll say the application and then in red it'll say not responding. Then go ahead and force quit. Now I'm going to do that here just so you'll see. But normally you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, I'll restart the computer and take care of it. The better way to quit a program is, for example, um, you just go under, let me get that open again, and you just choose quit from the menu bar. Now I am a shortcut person. I like the keyboard shortcuts. So I, the command Q, it quits. So I'm just going to hold the command key down on my keyboard, hit Q, and it's gone. More under the Apple menu. Sleep, just basically put your computer to sleep, hibernation mode, whatever. It just goes into low power mode. Um, there's never really a need to do this. Restart will actually, well, mine, I'm logged in as another user right here. But if you've got unsaved changes, you won't get them back. Um, and then shut down. Also same idea, mine says there's someone else logged in. If you hold down the option key on the keyboard, notice right now the dots mean something else will come up, uh, asking you to if it's okay, whatever. But if I hold down the option key, it's just gonna do it, and I don't want that. Uh, also when it's time, to, when class is over, many times I'll ask you to log out. Uh, since I'm using a guest account, I get a, another button here that says, hey, uh, guest account, you're not going to have anything left. On your account, you're fine. You can log out. Anything you have that hasn't been quit or saved will quit, and you probably will lose anything unless you've saved them. So I'm not going to click that. I'm going to click cancel. But again, if you do shift command Q, watch, I'll do that. I'll hold down the shift and the command keys, and I'll hit Q. It brings up that same dialog. If I add option, to that option shift command Q, then I log out of everything and I don't, I lose everything I've got, which I really don't want to do. Um, anyway, and I think that's about it for the Apple menu.